Epithelium Connective Graft By means of a 15C blade and remaining perpendicular to the long axis of the teeth at about 3mm from the gingival margin the palatine tissue is cut into penetrating into its thickness for about 2mm. The dimension of the flap should be about 20% bigger than necessary in order to compensate for the primary contraction which it will undergo when it is removed from the donor site. Once the perimeter incision has been completed, placing the scalpel parallel to the palatine vault, the thickness of the tissue is penetrated in a coronal apical direction until the flap, which must be about 2 mm in thickness, is raised. It is very important that the flap isn't too thin, less than 1 mm, in order to avoid removing almost exclusively epithelium, and not too thick in order not to include glandular tissue in its thickness. When the epithelium connective tissue graft has been removed, a palatine suture is performed. Once the interdental contact between first molar and second premolar has been passed by means of a horizontal mattress stitch, the palatine tissue is penetrated apically to the donor site area in a mesial distal direction, therefore passing the interdental contact between the premolars, returning vestibularly and a surgical knot is made on the vestibular aspect. Once the suture has been completed, surgical dressing is positioned in order to protect the wound.